No English clubs, but this is a heavyweight final. All right. It's Lukaku who's going to take on Diego Carlos, who's already given away two penalties in this competition in the last two rounds. The referee's got a yellow card in his hand. For me, that has to be a red because there's no intention. Lukaku does it. Inter ahead within five minutes and Lukaku amazingly has now scored in 11 successive games that he's played. Jordan lays it back, Navas plays it in and there's the equalising goal and the decision to play Luke de Jong has paid off because he's come up with an ear post header. Some start here, 1-1 already. Just watch the runner Luke. Picked a lovely ball to Barella. One or two claims there for a handball by Inter. His arms by his side, isn't it? So it's compulsive viewing. Here's Ocampos trying his luck. Got a bit of fizz on that as well. Great viewing this is. Towards that back post and a brilliant header in again from De Jong. He's got them both. And that was a soaring effort to put Sevilla 2-1 up here. They've come from behind again. What an unbelievable... Brozovic takes it towards the back post and there's an equaliser. It's Godin arriving on the back post with a header. Another... Again, Bonega to take it. Looking for a Campos, same header. Tipped over the bar. That was a carbon copy of the goal that they scored against Wolves. Only it did. Flag stayed down. Lukaku, brilliant save, a vital one. Not the first in these knockout stages from Yassine Bono. It is towards that back post. And it's turned into the back of the net as well. Sevilla are ahead again. Diego Carlos, who was the villain at one end, is the hero at the other one. Spectacular bicycle kick, it deflected and in. And Sevilla towards Lukaku. And then Sanchez off the line by Koundé. Alexi Sanchez with nearly his first touch. Very, very nearly scored. It is over. Super Sevilla. Kings of Europa yet again for a sixth time. Extraordinary. Commiseration, as Jane was saying to those for whom it was just too far and too expensive and too difficult. Tactic clearance has charged down. Lacazette closing in on this one. He got there. Now then, what's the referee going to give here? And the VAR may come into operation here. We've got Peter Wall. Nice ball, Giroud here, check with a big save, to deny his former club. And the beautiful glancing header from Giroud against his old club, and that was the moment Chelsea had been waiting for. In towards Pedro, 2-0 Chelsea, really in charge in Baku now. Again, starting to open up things in there. The muscular challenge is a penalty now to Chelsea. Arsenal are under and does so. Never a moment start was there. Chelsea pulling away and this is skewed by Obama Young that time. And then a volley of fantastic proportions there. What a goal for Arsenal who get back into it. Giroud's in again here, Hazard, four, beautifully worked, classic goal, and Edan Hazard is going to give Chelsea a great farewell gift. That is it, the blue flag is flying high over Baku, Azerbaijan. Chelsea have won the Europa League again, just as they did six years ago. Sevilla are looking to defend the UEFA Cup title they won in Eindhoven last year. Adriano has used his strength to get away, and Adriano goes all the way on his own. 18 minutes on the clock, Sevilla in front. Still with Riera. And Espanyol have got themselves an equaliser. Riera's effort. Russian might want it back again. And it is a late challenge, and it will be a second yellow card. 90 minutes at Hampton Park.
We are going to extra time. Jesus Navas picks out Canute. Frederick Canute makes it 2 1 Sevilla. And the Arnie. Jonatas hits it! Spectacular goal from Jonatas. Ernesto Valverde. Penalty kicks will decide this all Spanish UEFA Cup final in Glasgow. It's out for Sevilla. Scored in extra time. about gets it home. Gutinovic. Handiani. Andy Alves. The Brazilian. High and over the top. Need that lifeline. But Jonatas sees his. What that? Makes it 3 1 Sevilla. Torrejon. But Palop is there again. And Sevilla. Famous night for the club from Seville. These are two huge names in European football. A Porto and Celtic. Deco. Oh, it's wonderful from Deco. He's away from numerous Celtic defenders. But Douglas keeps him out. So much pressure. Alanichev. It will break kindly for Derlite. Porto right on half time have scored the opener. As it breaks into Larson. The looping header. It's one challenge. He's been masterful tonight. And he supplied Alanichev for Porto's second. They retake the lead in some. Larson's up. And Larson scored again. His 11th UEFA Cup goal of the season. Over Balde with the wild challenge. And he has already been booked. Celtic Delay is still going. Somehow he finds the back of the net. Jose Mourinho's side hold on. And they win the UEFA Cup. In this, Alaves are the huge underdogs as they take on Liverpool in the UEFA Cup final. Free kick looks dangerous, and Marcus Babel is there for Liverpool. They have the lead on three minutes in Dortmund. Brilliantly struck that one. Oscar Tellez on the turn, and Gerrard's made a fine run. Steven Gerrard doubles Liverpool's lead. And they've made a float. It's an interesting floated ball, and it's placed into the net by Ivan Alonso. Who's only recently come on as a first pass hit for Michael Owen? He's around the goalkeeper. As my pitch. But Gary McAllister beats him. Scored a penalty mistake type. It's hit by Contra. And the header is beautifully placed from Javi Moreno. Moreno hits it! It's a second for Moreno! In the space of three minutes. He's still Fowler! The lead belongs to Liverpool again. And it's... And Cruyff! Jordi Cruyff has made it. What a wild tackle from Antonio Carmona. Paul Schmitzer to the ground. Gary McAllister into the middle. Liverpool win it with a golden goal. Gary McAllister will take the... Now there's an opening for Dnipro, and they've got in front, Kalinic! The team from Ukraine, whipped in by Benet. Krikoviak! Now back up, and the goalkeeper, and that's 2-1 to Sevilla. What a turnaround! Side. We're happy to see that attempt to drift.